Hey guys, it's Vegan Latinas for Life on YouTube and Facebook, and sorry for the lighting being so terrible. Today's January 25th, 2016, uh, day 15 of the Gold's Gym 12 Weeks of Fitness Challenge. So, um, I did a video this morning uh, recapping on the last two weeks of how fun it's been, and I said I wasn't going to be able to do another video until next week, but um, I just had to share my experience right now. Um, at the gym. I'm sitting outside at the pool and this is the best lighting I can find. So today's epic and I want to keep a log of it so I could always remember it and uh, cool if you watch. Um, so um, it's Monday and um, I have never felt so healthy in my stomach and in my knee and in my arm and it's been about three days since I've been having uh, nothing but uncooked food. I don't eat bread. I haven't had bread in a very long time. Um, I did give up beans uh, three days ago and salt and I've just been living off of kale and spinach. I alternate with those um, but the last three days have been kale since I started the smoothies if I have that correct I'm pretty sure I've been logging it so um, I didn't want to eat this kale in a salad so um, if you saw my previous video you would have heard that um, one thing I forgot to tell you in the previous video is I had those awesome I got an awesome glass straw that I saw on Raw Christina on YouTube and so I got it at Mother's Market and it's awesome I take my uh, glass straw everywhere for my mason jars that I take everywhere now that I have my um, smoothies. So I carry those in a cooler everywhere I go when I leave for the day. Um, so um, what happened was I was on, oh, and also my breathing. I wasn't panting like a uh, thirsty human being. And that was good. I just finished two miles and I'm not panting right now. And I, my face is totally red. Uh, I don't know if you can tell. You can kind of tell. Um, so, yep. But I normally am, am uncomfortable because of my knee. My stomach is uncomfortable. I feel bloated all the time, whether it's that time of the month or not. And it is that time of the month, and I don't feel bloated. And it's heavy. But um, TMI. So, anyways, um, I was able to walk my 10 minutes with my hand grips, then take a break, go to the bathroom, whatever, walk again for another 10 minutes prepare my knee for the impact of running um, and I don't push myself like I did before because I don't want to have to restart all over like that movie 50 first date because that's how I feel every time it's like restart all over and it's a lot on my body and my mental state so rather not so I took it easy to 10 minutes break 10 minutes break and then decided to go for my two miles the last three days I've been doing two miles but um, since I've been eating so clean and healthy my body's burning some optimal fuel, not dead fuel for animals. Yeah, so clean fuel. I've been only burning clean fuel from all the organic produce, um, fruits, veggies, um, nuts, seeds. I've been eating, um, I haven't actually had seeds, but I've had, I'm sorry, I haven't had um, almonds because they do make me bloated and that has hurt. So I have decided to just cut the almonds out for a while and just try the hemp seeds, sunflower seeds, and um, chia seeds. And that's been really awesome. So um, that's what I've been living off of. Um, and I just, I'm amazed. It's like I'm 33 and I feel better than when I was a teenager playing basketball. I always had abdominal pain when I was um, at my ba uh, basketball games. And um, I consumed a lot of dairy in my teenage years and a lot of meat. And, now I really believe it. I mean, I believed it when I became vegetarian, well, more vegan five months ago, vegetarian. That started five years ago. Um, but now it's like it's happening to me. Like I'm really realizing that all that pasta, bread, all those things that are so normal to our society, they were damaging me, and I have no idea what's happened internally. All I know is that I'm repairing right now, and God's helping me repair right now. But I ran my two miles. And I didn't want to stop. I literally ran 20 minutes, two miles. That's at a pace of six. Um, and I, it pace level six. So yeah, 
I was able to accomplish doing that and um, I usually, like I said, I'm panting. <laughs> my knee hurts, my stomach hurts, my arm hurts, but everything was working like a wet oil machine and I didn't have to push myself as hard as I'm used to and I just want to give up usually. So that was phenomenal. And just keep in mind, the beginning of the two weeks, I just wanted to quit. I just want to give up because like I told you, it's like 51st day. I have to keep starting over every time I hurt my knee, re-injure it, 10 year old injury and it keeps getting re-injured. So um, I just said, just go for a walk. So I've been walking pretty much since when the two weeks started. And I just been saying, just, you know, <laughs> turtle in the hair, right? So easy does it. So I just been walking and walking and walking and walking. And just the last three, four days, I decided to finally start jogging and also clean up my diet, finally. I didn't want to believe that I could eat greens and feel this good. Oh, it's so weird saying that. But I'm saying it, and I'm Latina, and I haven't been eating beans. Now, keep in mind, this is 12 weeks. I'm going to see if I can continue it after that. I honestly am starting to feel like I'm more in love with the science of food than the food itself, because we really should not be in love with food. But I love what it can do to our bodies. Um, it's so amazing how optimal we can run just by putting the right things in it. It's pretty fascinating how God created us. So, um, yeah, I got my two miles in, and I didn't go past the 20 minutes. I didn't want to overdo it because I want to see how I do tomorrow. Maybe I'll do another video. I am so energized and all I've been just um, surviving off of all the things I told you. And of course, I'm going to have a delicious avocado for dinner. And that definitely makes me full. And don't forget, I have a gallon of water every day with cinnamon in my water. It's delicious. About an eighth of a teaspoon in each um, 32 ounce of cinnamon water, which I have free. The other water is in my smoothies now with apple cider vinegar and eight squeezes of lemon, all organic, and eight leaves of kale. Anyways, um, you can catch all that on Facebook page, which I'm going to put the link below for you. Um, I have a photo album with all that information. It's called My Food Fitness Log. So check that out if you're interested to see what I'm surviving off of and what actual regimen, or fitness regimen I'm doing. So I wish you the best of health. Um, a healthy vegan life. Um, if you're not already trying to live this healthy vegan lifestyle, I encourage it tremendously. Here on my channel, three beautiful things come together. Love for God. Jesus Christ is my savior. And he is my boss. I don't report to anybody but him. Okay, I report to the military because I work for them. But other than that, God is my boss. And I fear nothing but God himself. And that's in a good way. So, uh, I know if you're watching this, there's a reason for it. Um, and the second thing my channel is about is love for health, of course. And the third is um, the love and compassion for our things. And um, remember to check out um, my Christian Vegan Fitness page if you need some encouragement. And also, um, all, if you're in the military, we have uh, Vegans in the Military Facebook page for a resource. It's great. Um, and also, um, check out Provich. He's awesome. And he's on YouTube. He brings um, veganism and Christianity in, together in a profound way, and I love it. So, um, I'll leave you with that. Remember, animals are our friends and not our food. So, be a hero and go healthy vegan. So, yeah, it's great caring about the animals. I love animals. I would never hurt them. Um, but also, <laughs> remember, we got to take care of us humans. So, take care of your temple. It's the only one you're going to have. I remember, this life is so short. Like, uh, what, what are we here for? We're here to take care of ourselves because eventually we will be in eternity with God. So, just remember that. So, make the best of the time you have here. In my job here, God has put it on my heart to help you. So, um, I, I don't... I think I disabled the comments on my videos. So, if you want to reach out to me, you can always reach out to me on my Facebook page. Um, Alright, guys. I love you. God loves you. Have a great night. Bye. And this is Vegan Latinos for Life on YouTube, Facebook. Oh yeah, and don't forget that when we go to heaven, we're not going to be eating animals. I need to remember to say that on my videos, so why not start now? You think Jesus and God's going to have us eating animal flesh in heaven? Uh-uh. So, let's get that right here on earth. Alright guys, remember, on earth as it is in heaven. Take care. Bye.